who do you feel would be the target audience of the Sleeping Beauty? Well, I think it's there's something in it for all ages, definitely. But my main target is kids. I've always dreamt of a program where I could educate kids from when they're really young to when they get to college, and my goal is to expose them to different kinds of opera and music in general. And I wanted to start with, I have this thing called Dreamland Opera where I conduct my stuffed animals to recordings, and I thought that that would be something that would be really nice for really young kids, and then I wanted Sleeping Beauty to be sort of the real segue into real opera, witnessing it with real people and getting really into it. And it's one thing to conduct stuffed animals, which of course is awesome, but there's another when it really comes from your heart, and this piece is my case of diamonds. I mean, I'm really, really happy with it, and I want people to feel the joy that I have when I'm writing it. And I think that it's something that kids will understand because they know the story, they can relate to it. And if I tell them, you know, I explain to them what the music means and why I wrote it that way, I think that they'll really understand it to the point where when they're older, I want to write more operas based on book classics and other stories that will attract middle school and high school kids so that by the time they're in college, they can be ready for things like La Boheme, Carmen, Tosca, Traviata, things like that. So this is kind of my way of getting kids really into opera, hands-on, really.